an observation. Might not even be a take of any kind. But the Wolf's the same reason his Luigi's going to be good. And I think the Wolf is going to do very well in this matchup because Guy Guy himself is a very aware player. Yeah, he is. Like, he's able to just notice what you're going for, notice how you can go for it, and just try to mess it up for you somehow. Yeah, he, especially when it comes to, like, uh, adjusting to advantage state, like, he notices the small things really fast, right? Which is a, I think, like, a really important, uh, really important uh, trait. But there's one thing I will notice, is that the stock is gone, and Nolan Weezer took it. So that's the first one. Oh, God, we got, oh, that could have been another one. It could have been, but it's all in that execution. True. Like, yeah, Kazuya can deliver you stonks for free, but it's absolutely on the player to execute accordingly. And while Hollow Bastion, I think, is a phenomenal stage to start things off with because you can take advantage of the platform so well, like, it's still on you to take notice of where on the stage your combo is starting. Otherwise, yeah. you can just sort of get in the one lick, and all of a sudden you're close to Wolf. Now, you don't want to be close to Wolf. No one wants to be close to Wolf. Yeah, no, you're going to get, like, what, like, forwards, like, bat, fair back air, you know, like, there's a lot of horrible things that could happen. Like, you're going tit for tat for Wolf. There's very few characters in the game who want to play that game because where Kazuya has, like, a select few moves that definitely pack a punch if they hit, his real value comes in being able to have those disgusting strings. Wolf, meanwhile, he calls you out and checks you in neutral a few times. All of a sudden, your percentage is blood red, and you're wondering why you're about to die. Yeah. Because Wolf is one of those characters, too. Like, I think a lot of people, like, view him as a Fundy's character. And, like, I definitely do kind of view him. It's not to an extent, right? But this character, like, he's got a combo game. Like, and it's no joke. And sometimes it ends with you just dying at 60 because you got hit by a fair in the wrong place, right? Like, even though these characters, right? Like, even though these characters, like, Wolf, Altana, even, like, Cloud to some extent, like, people might think they're Fundy's characters. Low-key, they're kind of cheating. But uh, Wolf's biggest yeah. claim to fame is just that he does a lot of damage per hit. Like, yeah, for sure. He hits hard. That's that's what he's got. And, well, yes, Kazi is able to get a lot of hits off in a combo right there. You call the SDI out properly. You assume which combo you're DIing against. And then you got Kazuya knocking on the door of your shield. His shield pressure isn't that great. Yeah. If I'm you know how to play in shields, it, Kazi's not able to do much to you. Like yeah, I guess his best option is like to like maybe electric you and force you out of it, right? Yeah, he's got he's got. Well, like at that point, it just kind of resets neutral. Yeah, like Kazi yeah. doesn't want to reset neutral. He wants to play he wants to silly. kill you. Yeah. Speaking of playing silly, there we go. That guy out of the fun zone. <laughs> I like that one. The fun zone. I'm well, you got that. Max Rage Kazuya yeah. Rage Art on deck. Like yeah, I mean, that's fun for one person, you know, not fun for the other, but. And he's still got a ways to go. It's a, it's a tall order, but this is very doable for the guy guy wolf. Not anymore. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah, just, uh, uh, that's actually just really funny. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the cheeky little smile afterwards. No, I you like that though. But you got to stock uh, ahead. You take advantage of that. Wolf is certainly not coming back from there. You got a few characters who have recoveries that can make it happen. And, like, I guess, in theory, you've got, you can, like, Phantom Footstool above Kazuya and, like, get yourself back up with an okay recovery. But that's, like, frame perfect nonsense that you have to spend, like, hours in the lab trying to do for that one really dumb situation. Yeah, just not. I didn't even know that was even a thing. It I'm is. Be real. It was like technically a thing, and like not every character has. It's based off the grab release, and it's. Oh. It's, 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 like, it's like uh, if you're if you're at a if you're a robot in a black. Yeah, that's zone, what I mean. It's like if you're it, like right? yeah. if you're like in the theory craft zone, you like really want to crunch it for numbers. It's like yeah, it is an option. Technically, because you know you can make it back. Yeah, for real. Uses the lab coat and glasses on. Yeah, tight. No, they, but game two's bringing us to town and city. Hey. Better stage to be on for sure. It's a lot harder for Kazuya to combo off those platforms, regardless of which plat layout it is. Yeah. Uh, and also, just having a bit more of that open space means that you're going to be seeing a lot more lasers from Lisa. He's got to occupy space somehow, but Wolf has a much easier time maneuvering this space, comboing across it, and most importantly, killing across it. Yeah, like the stage is flat, but it is also very long. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kazuya's not really a marathon man, right? Um, he's gonna see those. Uh, he's gonna see those neutral bees. He's gonna have to respond in some kind of way, right? Um, we'll see if uh, Weezer can kind of break these approaches, uh, or kind of kind of break through and uh, get these nice approaches. But right now, I think Guy Guy's gonna be the one. Especially Weezer. Good lord, he's seeing red right now. That raised drive, man. Check? Oh, and there it is. 
Oh no, yeah, no, that was. No, nah, he's the aerial version of Keith, yeah, so, which yeah. I think was really smart. See, that's what I mean. Is like Kazuya could definitely be just a funhouse character, but like it's it's on you to like know how to use these tools appropriately. So like I'll give credit where it's due. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I've said this before. Like, I actually think Kazuya is one of the hardest characters. It's like. In terms of just like playing like completely optimally, right? Like he's very, very difficult in man aspect. Ooh, hold on, we're pressing oh, buttons. Yeah, I'll do it though. You hey, still hey, got hey. rage drive, dang. Yeah, no, crazy. He, that aerial version, he's, he's keeping it, but not for long. Yeah, but he also had a skittle, you know, because guy guy was really hit with that back air. So, yeah, one of the luxuries of this matchup is that Wolf is able to check that shield for free, and especially positioning wise, like if Wolf's not in range for like back air out of shields, or it doesn't have to worry about the command grab. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, it's free real estate. And like, he could get away with that with back air of his own. He could, of course, get away with the projectile. Yeah, I really like Gaga's DI on those uh, electrics, right? Like, cause like, what I'm thinking is like, oh wait, you're gonna get nared down there? And Gaga is just able to DI it so that he's gonna pop out up on top of the platform. So much better for him. Yeah, it's one of those situations where like, you know you wanna take the throw. You love taking the throw because you're not getting a lot of damage. Like, yes, Kazuya has potential for touch of death, and he has potential for big damage, but that's only potential. Wolf, if he slaps the shit out of you with one of his boots, you hold that, because it's just the one move. Yeah, that's fair. That's the thing, man. Wolf is a no-returns, one-and-done deal, right? What you see is what you but get. The deal kind of nice, though. <laughs> it's working out very yeah. well, and an unfortunate use of resources means a potentially early stock lost on Weezer. I get to say that's an early stock. That's a super heavy character. He shouldn't die at 140. Yeah. That's the thing about Kazuya, too. Like, he will basically always live, like, past, uh, past like, when he loses Rage Drive, right? Because, like, once you get him to 140, Rage Drive goes goes away, right? But, like, he'll basically always live past that just because of how heavy he is. Yeah, he's a big like, boy. his recovery is, yeah. So, I'll tell you one thing that's solid right now, though. It's Gaigai's advantage. He was mixing a little on stage there. Really cool forward throw, a little. Kind of got, like, a little bit of a little bit of a tech chase situation going on on the platform. Really cool stuff. I like the upbeat. Yeah. The other shield is one of the few options that you got, but it's also on the laggier side. It's not especially swift, and if you whiff it, you got a lot to worry about against a character like Wolf, but it was a good call on Weezer that evens up the stock count. Oh, not God, for that just yeah. kills, man. Yeah, man, Wolf got a fourth smash attack. You know, that's, that's a raster from rivals, you know? Yeah. My man, we should have that Falco. That could be a bird. But you yeah, know that 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 back air is is uh, there's no sugar coating it. It's, it's it's broken. It's well it's a well spaced back air. Yeah, that was a noise back air. There yeah, you go, percent, man. Yep. You know we got to get it out of the way. Ha ha, funny, right? That was old as time. Yeah, but true. Regardless, but I, I mean, think but that true. game that game too. I think was just the goes to show like what that wolf can do. Uh, and generally speaking, even like take Wolf out of the equation, what you want your character to do to Kazuya. There was a lot of opportunities there, whereas either. Like, Weezer wasn't able to move around with Kazuya, or he wasn't able to combo, and it was one yeah. or the other. And that's a really raw deal to get as Kazuya, because if you're not getting your combos in, beyond, like, I think, like, a several, like he does have a handful of moves that just do raw damage, yeah, but they don't give him good positioning. And if he doesn't have good positioning, he doesn't have good combos. If he doesn't have good combos, he doesn't kill. Yeah, the thing too is like what's a Kazuya like, without his kills? Yeah, that, I mean without without electric and uh, without electric and the the kill combos, you know he's he's but a man, right? But I, I don't think I will give uh, guy got a lot of credit for it in that particular game. I feel like he was just kind of moving in this like really erratic way that was hard to really pin down, right? That's exactly what you gotta do against Kazuya because if he pins you down, I mean like well you could be saying about your stock, right? So yeah, you know, it's I wouldn't say it's erratic though, is because he wanted to be in certain situations, like he wanted to be beneath the platform so that he had extra space to escape combos. Oh yeah, it was inten he, entirely intentional, right? Like it was entirely It's unorthodox. Yeah. That I'll give you as yeah. a more appropriate. A lot, a lot of a lot of a lot of tempo switches, right? Yeah, cuz yeah. like it's not stuff you'd see at a normal wolf play like Oh, 100%. Like good wolf play is fairly cut and dry where you look at what wolf is doing and it's just sort of an unbeatable waltz of just buttons and dashes and ugh. Oh. Yep, the interactions with the that, that, was an, that was an erratic interaction, I would say. It was, that was, that's where I'll put the word. Hey, yeah, put it right gross. there. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. This is a. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I was gonna. You're gone, yeah, son. I was gonna say like this is like a. You know what? Yeah, it's yeah, it's gone. The stock's gone. Three to one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was just really poor movement. Yeah. But, like yeah. Not that guy guy had much of an option there, like moving around at the ledge. He also got screwed out on the. Uh, 
the side V connecting on shield the way that it did gave Weezer all the opportunity to connect into a small but suitable combo. And while he still got some life in that last stock, that is a full stock lead for Weezer to sit for it. Yeah, there's one thing I will say to you about Kaz Kazuya, like I do think when he has the stock lead, it actually, like, I think people, like, kind of underrate how difficult it really can be to kind of take him back, right? Just because of how difficult this character is to kill and how much you have to play around, like, uh, when it comes to a stock, right? Because just because he's going to get raised dry, basically, you pretty much have to deal with it, right? Like, he has so many things that you have to literally just look in the eye and just say, all right, like, I got to deal with that, right? And uh, that's one of them. <laughs> I don't think that double dash was supposed to be a double dash. No, uh, probably not. No Mario Kart in sight, so no, I don't sure. think so. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, it's the 2-1 count. Things looking really good for Weezer right now. The run back to Stadium, I think, is very bold, and I'm assuming it means that uh, the overalls are coming on. Oh, oh wow. I was about to say, I thought the Luigi was going to come out, but now he's sticking it out with the Wolf. Let him stick to his guns. I think, I think Wolf is a good pick here. It's just a matter of actually figuring out every end of the, uh, the flow of this matchup. I mean, this is, this is what Train Tuesday is about, right? You know, like, go your funky secondaries, you know? Oh, yeah, it's like we know that guy, guy. He's got the solid Wario. He's got the solid Greninja. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, no, he's I think is Wolf is good. a phenomenal character to add to that repertoire. And just in general, is a very good character to have practiced against a character like Kazuya. Because if you can have just a solid Ooh. fundamental grounding on how to fight this character, if you can make a stock like that happen yeah. with Wolf, then you augment your tools a little bit. You get a little quirky with Greninja or Luigi. And all of a sudden, you're in that comfort zone because you have an idea of what you need to just sort of avoid with Kazuya. Yeah, remember how I said Wolf is low key a cheater? This is kind of an example of that, right? Like, bro, it's big man. damage. You make big yeah, calls, you so cash much. in hard. Yeah, he is cashing at 15%, man. Holy. Oh, oh that's what? cute. <laughs> that's oh, insane. that's cute. I kind of like that. I think I've seen Jackal do that a few times. Yeah. yeah. It's not a Jackal original, but it's definitely something that you definitely put in the books. Nah, no, I'll tell you one thing, though. This ain't Jackal. This ain't Ouch. This is a Guy Guy original. Goodness, man. Guy Guy's moving really well right now. And he's got all the room in the world to move. He's three stocks to one up on uh, on Weezer's Kazuya. Yeah, the thing, too, is like these are situations, too, where he could be camping, but he's literally just refusing to. No, he's I think, refusing to no, do no, it. I think, what? No, he he got slaughtered in that game, and it was all because he just danced around shield the entire time. Yeah. There were so many interactions that went to Guy Guy favor during that game four because he was back airing shield, double jumping to get out of danger. Or he was just, just touching with Nair, with forward air, with blaster, just constantly putting him in a spot where he just had to sit in shield. I said at the beginning of the set, Kazuya loves buttons, but if you don't get to press those buttons, you're just kind of a big dude sitting there waiting for the next thing to happen. Yeah. And Wolf loves when his opponent's going to sit still because you get to weave around with really good aerial movement and really good buttons to just sort of poke, linger, and just have space that's yours. Kazuya being denied space at all is kind of a, a big task to check off the list of things to do to win that matchup. But if you could do it confidently, you're looking to win. You're looking really good. And yeah. I think it's not not too much to say, but I think guy guy looking kind of good right now. I I would I don't think that's a reach <laughs> in the slightest. What did he take, 30% last game, right? About. That was something else, man. 10% of stock? Goodness, man. And, and Weezer has made a good name for himself as the local sleep paralysis demon, so a three yeah. stock is definitely nothing to scoff at. Game five, Weezer's choice is Smashville, which I think is a fantastic pick for him. And actually a really good response to the last several games where Guy Guy's been able to move. It's a big gamble, though, because if Volk occupies the space beneath that platform, this whole stage is his. Yeah, that's Just for sure. full sale. Oh, goodness, man. It's kind of insane, like, how consistently Guy Guy is hitting these down airs, because, like, Weezer's up B, uh, or Kazuya's up B, like, I don't know exactly how big the hitbox is, but there's a hitbox there, right? Like, so, like, Guy Guy's got to be spacing these Oh, really it's large well. and it's wide, but yeah. if you interact with it towards its later end, it's not safe. It's a great out-of-shield option because it's huge at that start, and it lingers for quite a bit. And it's also why Kazuya gets to fool around off stage in situations where you really wouldn't expect a character like him to do so. But when you have that kind of vertical dominance on him, you get to be a little silly. And Wolf's down air, dare I say, a little Kinda silly. Kind of nice. Yeah, goodness, man. 
He just like did that that last game. He was like, wait, I have a down air, right? That's, that, that's his bread and butter this game, man. He's like, oh, I kind of like this one. You the know, whole idea is forcing Weezer off stage, let him exhaust his options, force him below stage, where all of a sudden he has to stall with laser. He has to hold that jump. He has to use that jump. He's left only in a position to upbeat. And if you're far enough away, rising down air is covering everything you need. Yeah, for sure. See, Guy Guy, he didn't commit to it that time because Weezer did really good on holding on to his options. No way. At 83? Nah. Nah, but we got, uh, you know what? There you uh, go. Now you got it. What is going we'll on? We'll see you in grants. What, what was that? Uh...